Greetings, greetings, again, greetings across the earth. Give thanks. The false transatlantic slave narrative. I was say false because people have a way to present information or just benefit themselves or their groups. So we don't have a problem of bringing information accordingly. Ah, uh, there are image a map of the earth, basically. I'm not sure if my pointer will show on the video, but this is the United Kingdom right here. And this is Spain right here. Portugal, Spain, because Portugal is at the coastline of Spain towards the Atlantic area. So we have Morocco, right here. Remember the Moroccan Moorish Empire. Dark skinned people and mixed multiracial people did a rule over Europe at one point. And the information is out there for validate this statement. So we have France right here. We just say all of the major so-called, what they would call Western powers now. But this is where they originate, over here in the east. North east, to be specific. So when we're looking at this image of this map, we're going to say where Africa is. And if they are them look, Closely, you're going to say, say Africa as a continent, so called, is connected to this area over here, what is Europe and all these other places. The separation comes with Australia and these little continental islands. So this would be the western, the eastern hemisphere on the right side here, according to how we look at the image. And on the left side would be the eastern side. And to the right of this left side, eastern side, this is the area where Greenland is. This is where they would call the Atlantic. Remember, you know, it's one body of water. You understand? And some foreign people create all of these names and, you know, divisions. So right here would be the Atlantic. And to the left of what we are called the continent of America would be the Pacific Ocean. So the Atlantic Ocean and the Pacific Ocean. And then you look at the continent of America. And then we talk about the continental plate. So this is what America is, people. And it's one continent. See it? But them are called North Canada, South Canada, United States of America, Mexico. All of these things coming right down to Brazil and all of these places where them would have called the South. And then in the central area, in the navel, this is where you locate the Awak chiefdom. The Awak chief dominion that is now called Caribbean, this is what I'm going to call the West Indies, this area. But the West Indies is really everything here on the west side. And everything on the east side is east. You understand? Again, United Kingdom is right here. You probably can blow up this thing. Yeah. So here it should be a much better view. Bring it out again and make you guys see the very same thing and how I'm gonna do a blow it up. So now we are look at the area where we just show the items say uh, this is the United Kingdom of Great Britain. Yeah man. 
and Northern Ireland. So this are the United Kingdom. And you have France right here. You have Germany right here. You have all of these European people. Now Spain as the first invaders to our location. Here they are, Portugal, Spain. So Spain is here and Portugal is more to the Atlantic coastline. So I just said Portugal, Spain because of one location irrespective of what I'm saying. And see so right where Morocco is. Yeah. We have the Sultan of Morocco who recognized the United States Corporation and went into treaty with the corporation. So these people, because remember this is supposed to be Africa, same way. No? You understand? So you have Morocco, Algeria and all of these little places. These are the people, the Moorish people who had conquered all of these other places at that time. So I try to show now the little area where these people come from. And I enslave, which part of the Dutch people in there? The Dutch play a major role in all these things. But guys, so they are one and the same people here. Yeah, man. The only thing I can say about Russia is that Russians seem to be partial to us as a people. When I say where Russia try to colonize us as a people, I don't see nowhere where Russia oppress us as a people or Russia do anything bad to us. Russia look like them always have come to our aid. Yeah, a whole bunch of time. So I have nothing against the Russian right now. No, I said nothing bad about Russia. But the Middle East there. Eh? Alright, so the Middle East, everybody eh, will whip what about this. See there? Egypt, Saudi Arabia, Jordan. Them they even put Palestine. Israel, them have marked on the lap. On, on the map. This is a counterfeit Israel that was created in 1948. Yeah, man. So it is interesting, people. It is interesting, man. Sometimes when you not get felt, look at what it is, or can view it. You know, you're lost out here. So say, we right here, sir. All these other little island chain, Cuba, yeah, powerful Cuba, powerful Haiti, and we there, you know, right in between here, so This is Brazil, what them are trying to tell us that them bring slaves came to Brazil from Portugal, no such thing. Absolutely no such thing. Portugal right here. A claim so them bring slaves come to Brazil here. No such thing. All of these places was occupied by us. Yeah. When I care what no one else has said, when I bring on our own narrative, it was occupied by us as a people. There is no West African being brought from West Africa by Portugal. To the Americas, neither to the Caribbean nor to the mainland. No such thing. They came and see the people there. And all them do is them word of wizardry, trick the people and put the people to sleep. Basically, that's what it is. Anyway, what's at the falls? Transatlantic slave story is a demonic narrative created by foreign peoples, plural, more than one of them, more than one groups of these people of the northern pole region of the eastern hemisphere after the fall of the multiracial Moroccan Moorish Empire in the 1400s. The North African or Moroccan Moors ruled all of Europe including Africa, Portugal, Spain and up until they were assimilated and ousted by the foreign anglo area Neanderthal type of people from the northern coal region of the earth. 
Portugal, Spain with Christopher Columbus brought no African slave to America when they first invaded Haiti in 1492, nor any, nor were any African slaves brought to the island of Zahmayaka or Jamaica in 1494, two years after the invasion of Haiti. It is said that Spain, with Christopher Columbus, saw the original dark-skinned native people who are non-African existing within the Western Hemispheric continent of America harmoniously in isolation and without the aggressive, oppressive foreign intrusion, invasion, or interaction. Portugal, Spain, with Christopher Columbus, can never prove they brought one slave from Africa to America, except for the conquered Moroccan, North African Moors, a Spanish slave, manning Christopher Columbus' Spanish slave ship. We, the original dark-skinned native of the American hemisphere, must never allow these foreign oppressors to teach us about history, because their narrative and stories only benefit them to the detriment of us as a people. So we are sharing this information in an effort to bring clarity or story or narrative only because when you listen to the information shared out there on the internet you find a lot of people are talking about Africa, 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 and everybody came from Africa, and all these West African slaves came to America, meaning the mainland and the West Indies. We are here to rebut that, present those kind of proof. There is no proof to validate those claims. Again, Spain brought no African here. The very first Americans were brought from Haiti. Spain, when Columbus had displayed what he had discovered out there. And Portugal, at no time, brought no African slave to America, where they call South America, Brazil. No such thing. It's all lies being told by these people. Yeah, this is how they usurp meaning. They take your place and act as if they are you who are the true original. That's usurpation. And just come into your house and start live as you. Take on your name, take on all of your characteristics, and then push it to the side and say, hey, you're from someplace else. And if you look upon this image, again, Looking at it from how her point of view, the right side would be the east, where you see the Africa connected to Europe, connected to everywhere else. This is one connected area, landmass area, one connected area. However, usually where the equator is, you're going to find the darker shade people usually, and then According to what is written, you're going to find see, a lot of dark-skinned people exist on the continent of Africa right here. And right here in what is now called India, we call it Barahat. Because the people that will come to know are some different kind of people and the true original dark-skinned people that existed there. This is the change. This is where these people come out of some places where we don't know about. And them just, you know, yeah, totally dominate the areas where them just, you know, rush to. So this is what I'm calling the, East, the Eastern Hemisphere. And over on the left side here is what you call the Western Hemisphere. And on the Western Hemisphere is only America, you see. 
uh, Canada connected to America, then just Babylon just changed it up and I draw lines, imaginary borders. These are what you call imaginary borders. Yeah, and when you say the West Indian area, you notice it's separate from the mainland. However, they call a continental plate. This is why we are associated and with the Americas or America. However, we are still unique. Yeah. Notice how we are tucked in the center of everything. From us derive everything. Really. I start right at the center and branch out all over. So we as West Indians are a unique set apart group of people where the whole world of it keep silent. They must divide us. You understand? Deceive us, trick us, have us hating ourselves, hating each other. We'll never be able to unite because of the foreign oppressive colonizers. This is why I say Haiti is like this. And people come from all the way over Africa to try to colonize the Haitian and it won't happen. Let me even try to turn us on the island here to go against Haiti and that won't happen. We are Americans here, the true Americans here, the true native of this hemisphere, the dark-skinned people. And I show an image on a previous tape where we are showed the conquistadors, the Spanish people, when they are invaded with location, you know, so they are come with a boatload of slaves. Yes, so they are come greet us as a people who are the Indians. Before them even are called with man, we are Indian. You understand? This is where they might get the indigenous from. Indigene, indigenous, Indian. This is why the British Empire changed the Hindustani people to India in order to bring confusion. Yeah, man. So, a way of a choice we apply ourselves for ourselves, and even though we share information, to, you know, where people are talk a lot of things, we have our own point of view, what we present. So, when a broad brush ourselves talking about we are all Africans, that's bullshit. No such thing. No such thing. We are not all no Africans. The Africans are still in their locations and the diaspora, the people where leave that location, they can document when and where they came from. A lot of Africans are now spread out all over the world. But that doesn't mean the original people of America is African. No such thing. That's a demonic narrative created by these Neanderthal type of people. And remember, you know, once them have miscegenation, where them start race mixing, you know, yeah, mix with, you know, people, you might come out looking like me, but within you, you know, have nothing for me. You know what I mean? You just look like me. This is why when you have a people called Maroon, claiming to make treaty, we can say, we don't know about these people. These people are foreigners to us because a maroon is an escape slave. However, there's, I don't think you have much of these people existing because the very same British, they remove a whole bunch of these escape Spanish slaves. However, with the educational system that was imposed upon our people, which is foreign, this is where they taught our people within their colonial university 
or colonial place of education. This is where they taught our people that we are Africans and we have African ancestry and African heritage. It's a lie, it's deception, and it's a trick imposed upon us by the oppressive, aggressive foreign colonizers. Again, we have to choose to apply ourselves for ourselves. You know, allow foreigners, you know, to do it for you. And if you choose to have them or give you their history which benefit themselves, then you can't blame no one when you lack truth. When you're drifting out there, lost at sea. You understand? You have to blame yourself because you chose not to qualify whatever information that is being presented. At no point these people can say them bring anybody from slave ships. It's all imagery. It's fallacious. They can never prove that. How can you come to a location saying I as a native Indian? And then you ever say, I as a native Indian, die off and you brought people from West Africa. No such thing. Liberia was created by the Americans. And them of the colonization society where this place, a plethora of American over there to that continent on the east side, they call Africa. Yeah, the very same British foreign people came here and removed the original people, send them over Europe somewhere. That's the slave trade. It was told in reverse, however. Because of the state of condition of our people, being colonized and all, being conditioned and all, being socially engineered by colonial foreign powers, then it going to take a lot for have our people really grasp this kind of truth. It will resonate with them, but however, because of their conditioning, what is known as cognitive dissonance will set in. This is why our people are totally unaware of this sophisticated enslavement by an aggressive, oppressive, foreign people with their foreign institutions, their foreign corporations. This is how they invade our location in order to gain our precious minerals from our land. And when they take our minerals from our land, they use that resource to develop their broken down society. I remember when I used to read about the people who are supposed to be British in England, how unhygienic, unsanitized these untidy people were until the West Indians came through and taught those people how to cleanse themselves. Say it's not so. Say it's not so. Remember, you know, we are on an island surrounded by water, so, you know, we always, you know, have access. Yeah. While you people lack that resource on of a bill, all kind of makeshift water with. Yeah, man, the truth is no sin may be an offense, but we care zero who it offend. This is our truth. And when we say we are Americans, we mean we are separate and distinct from what you would call the anglo area Neanderthal type, Neanderthal type, Neanderthal. Yeah. We're different from them. 
Yeah. When you look one way, you got sister boy with skin tone different, with hair texture different, with doxy ribonucleic acid different. Yeah, with phenotype different. Yeah, it is different. Whether you like it or not, that's how it is. When we go into the sun, the sun energizes us. Yeah. When we're going on the sun, the sun makes us strong. When we're looking at the sun, it clears up everything inside our way. We now have no issue with the sun. The Neanderthal type is a different story. And don't think I'm being racist. I'm telling you what racist is. Racist are the implementation. And racism are the implementation where these foreign, oppressive, aggressive colonizers impose upon us as a people upon the West Indian people here are information as a West Indian immigration when you read that document you will get an idea of what was and who we truly are and why the eugenics society of London chose to implement all kind of restrictions against us as a people who are non African. So when they hear them all the talk about West African, look carefully. This is how them try to, you know, intermix us with foreign people. Because even the West Africans, from your African, you're foreign to us as American. I will not be fooled. We never issue with the Africans, but they are not us. And we are not them. Just like all the Anglo Aryan Neanderthal type are not us and we are not them. But because of what is known as interracial mixing, the mixing of the seed, miscegenation, then they create a hybrid group of people where want a place. You understand? So they must say, you know, become you know, call them pirates out there. These very same Neanderthal type people, when you study what is written, you're going to find so them come out of some enclosure. That means that they were secluded in a specific location for eons, for a very long time. Until a change that took place. So my people, don't be fooled out there. Apply yourself for yourself. And take it step by step. Anyway, again, sharp and spicy. Clap it up out there. Don't be afraid. Bring your truth. Bring your truth in document form. Bring your evidence. Clap it up out there. Do not be afraid. Yeah, man. Clap it up out there, man. 